Welcome to ProCAD's 2D application supporting module tutorials. Watch the entire video or use the on-screen table of contents to skip to a specific topic. The Standards Manager tutorial covers the following topics. Clients and Standards, General Settings, Software Settings, and Import-Export. Let's begin. Double-click the Standards Manager icon to open the application. Our first topic is Clients and Standards. On the left is the navigation pane showing the existing standards. The English and metric standards are by default with the software. The Twin Lakes project was created for the demos and tutorials. To create a new client or standard, we can click the pull down menus and select a new option or we can right click and select new client or new standard. We'll create a new standard. Click on new. The new standard wizard appears. Enter the standard name. Select the working units, either English or metric. All ProCAD software works in English or metric units. For this sample, We'll use the English units, which is feet and inches. The displayed units allows us to select either basic inch sizes or NPS and metric OD and metric NPS. The working units once set will be read only for the standard and cannot be changed. Set the ratings format. There are five different formats available with the pound symbols, the letters LB, 150 CL for class, class 150, or the full word, class 150, depending on customer or client needs. Click Next. In a drawing file location, we can set the folders. We can have all the drawings in one folder for all of our products, the electric, the PNID, the isometric, and the ortho. Or we can set it up so that the drawings will be in application specific folders. Select the icon, select the folder, click OK. A warning appears. This is a local drive, so this would be for a standalone installation. If it is a network installation, you would then select a network drive so all users have access to the drawings. A folder is created for each of the product drawings. We can also set the border location, the template location, and the library location. Click Next. The line number appears where we can add line numbers. To create a new line number, select the new tab, add the line tag. We can rename and purge line numbers. Click Next. Select the specs that would be available within the standard simply by toggling on. We now have the 150, the 300, and 600 pound specs available within this standard. Click Finish, and our new standard is created. Click on the standard. We can delete the standard. We can rename the standard. To create a client, simply click on New and add our client in. Standards can reside under the clients. We can have more than one standard under a client. I can move this new standard underneath the ProCAD. We can create one or more standards under each client, allowing for flexibility and system management control. Our next topic is general settings. Let's take a closer look at our newly created standard. Double-click the standard to open it. In the data pane, we see the general settings. Some information can be changed. For instance, the standard name could be changed. We cannot change the working units or the displayed units, as those are read-only. We can change the rating format type. If we look at the file locations, we can adjust our file locations from our default locations. As well, we can adjust our borders, templates, and libraries locations. Under the border settings, we can take a closer look at what borders we would like to use. We also have our revision blocks and the drawing limits for the sheet sizes. Under the Drawings tab, we see each of our products, the electric, the PNID, isometric, and ortho. If there were existing drawings, we would see them in these locations. 
We can create a new drawing at this point, but it's better to create it within the drawing manager than the software. Clicking on the lines allows us to adjust our line numbers, add line numbers in, rename, and purge. Under the specs tab, we can adjust our specs that were set originally when we created the standard, but we can toggle on and off the specs as needed for the standard. Our next topic is software settings. Specific to each of the products, the electric, the PNID, the isometric, and the ortho, are some base settings for the software for the standard. Things like under the general drawing parameters, we can set the text style name, the text font that we're going to use, the height, the width, equipment tag heights. To change heights, simply replace the text with an appropriate text height. Make sure to apply to save the changes. We can change scale factors for different components and routines within the software, the scaling variables for certain functions and routines within the software, Dimensioning variables are the AutoCAD dimensioning variables that we can set within the standard. And finally, layers, where we can actually adjust the layers, the existing layer structure for the electric software. We can change colors simply by selecting the color, changing the color, and then clicking Apply to save the changes. Under the PNID, we have system toggles scale factors, a bill of material, dimension variables, and layers. Again, names can be adjusted, colors can be set, line types. Under the isometric, we have our general parameters, our system toggles, scale factors for our components, component sizing, even more scale factors available, bill of material, the dimension variables, and again, the layers all customizable per standard. Changes made here will only affect the current standard, which is our TLP-2015. And our last product, the ortho. Again, the general drawing parameters, system toggles, scale factors, bill of material, civil structural parameters, dimension variables, and our layer structure. Our last topic in the Standards Manager tutorial is the import-export. Once we have created our standard, set all of our parameters, we can create a backup of the standard by using the export option. We can also export the standard for another client using the ProCAD software or for another computer in a standalone situation. Click on the export, set a location. I'll just set my desktop. It will create a file. We can give it a file name. It'll default to the standard name. Click Save and the file is created. To see the file, we'll just minimize our standards manager. There is our exported standard. To import a standard, so if we were looking at a standalone installation and we want to import that standard, we would then click the import button. The standards manager dialog appears saying, are the standards being imported created from an older version? Click yes if it was from an older version. Click no if it's from the same version. This is for compatibility issues. Find the XST file, and then we can import it. And it is now imported. Our last option is to compare a standard. So we'll take a look at comparing our 2015 standard with our English standard. And there are the two standards side by side. Differences are highlighted in yellow. We can see that we have folder location differences. Our line numbers, we had created some line numbers. They show up as, as differences. And then within the electric software, remember we had changed the text height to 0.1. And in our English standard, it is 0.125. Any other changes are highlighted in color yellow. Quick, easy way to comparing two different standards to see what the differences are. This concludes the topics covered in the Standards Manager tutorial. Please review this module or select the next module.